Welcome to the L.A. Story Podcast with Stevie Wilson. Hey people, this is Stevie for the LA Story. This uh, may look like a strange place to do an interview, but um, this is my tree. And she's uh, a Glambertina. Lampskank. Okay. <laughs> I'm a Lampskank. And we have a little bit of Adam Lambert. We're, I'm uh, here at the Adam Lambert concert at uh, the Pacific Amphitheater in Orange County. And I wound up getting tickets at the last minute, which I kind of thought was really interesting to do that. So, um, how did you get it? How did you start all this with Adam? Oh my God, it's been an interesting ride. So, you know, like most, so many of us Lamberts, we were just, a lot of people watch Idol regularly, but a lot of Lamberts just, you know, are channel surfing. You know? Right. And so I channel surfed one day and there is this amazing guy with beautiful being with gorgeous makeup on singing like an angel on American Idol. And I never watched American Idol. And I, by the way, my voice is gone because I've been screaming for three days straight watching his shows. So, um, Okay, because you came from San Francisco. Yeah, I saw the, the I, mean, I saw him twice at the, at the Warfield, and the Warfield was unbelievable. And then I saw him at the Thunder Valley, I guess it is, of the casino over in Sacramento. And it was just, he was just unbelievable. It's just crazy. And now we're seeing him today. And uh, it's just been a complete utter ride. I mean, I went through a severe depression. I was in a depression, and he helped me come out of my depression. Just seeing wow. this man so committed to himself and so full of hope and so willing to transform and do it, take risks and do whatever he could to transform his life gave me hope that I could do the same thing for myself and find my way back to myself in my spiritual practice. And every day, every week, watching Idol just got easier and better and better. And even though he, and then, you know, even though he didn't win, it, it didn't matter, you know, because it was like he was in my mind, he was still a winner. And it was just, it's been an incredible ride. I've just, it's just been utterly mind blowing. And so then I had my friend said, hey, come down to, to OC. And I just went, of course I'm gonna do this. And jumped in the car and came down. I haven't slept, you know, I've just been on the road to come down here to do this. And I'm hoping to see Adam tonight. We'll see if I can actually see him. We're gonna go to the barricades and hope he comes out and signs autographs. He usually does. That'd be cool. That would be cool. You know, I think, I mean, he speaks to so many of us who are, who are really like wanting to transform our lives and do, and do things differently and take risks and make changes in our lives. At least for me, that's what it is. It's about being who you are. Being who you are, willing to take risks to be who you are and willing to not apologize for that. That's a big deal. Yeah. He doesn't apologize for who he is. It's awesome. You know, and, um, and that's just, you know, he's like the first gay artist to ever sign a label out front at the gate. You know, he's just, he's, this is who I am. And it, it's just so real and so authentic and so um, unique. And uh, it's about self empowerment and self empowerment, belie believing in yourself, taking risks, you know, even if you're nervous, even if you're, I mean, he was totally nervous. He said he didn't even think he could win, but he didn't care. He did it anyway. You know, at, you know like, act as if you're choosing this act you know, do it anyway and yes. he did it and just and he kept going and he go oh, i'm here again i'm i survived in a week i saw that in a week and and i'm thinking about my own life thinking god when i was younger i took so many more risks why am i not taking any more risks what happened to me why am i stuck in this dead-end job or doing all these things you know that's not working for me quit do something different and so i've just been slowly over the past year just really changing things up you know even just appearance like look at my appearance i never used to dress like this you know, obviously I don't dress like this for work, but, you know, I mean, it's crazy. I'm just crazy. You know, it's fun. It's exciting. It's... Oh, show off the jewelry. All right. Here are the rings. Okay. Woohoo! Okay. And, um, well, and, we, saw, we, and... we saw an amazing array of, of outfits. Yeah. From very conservative, just very... jeans and t-shirts. Exactly. To the woman who had the hat, pillbox hat with the netting. Exactly. Which I took a picture of her. That I She's thought that so was, beautiful. I thought that was really interesting because yeah. that really is... Somebody 19 would, would do it in a heartbeat. Anybody older than that would kind of go, what? Yeah, exactly. And, he, and you know, he, Adam actually had a question like that asked, like, oh, well, you can get away with it, but I can't. And his response was, no, you get to get away with it by just doing it. And then you've gotten away with it. Yeah, it's called take the risk. Take the risk and just do it. He's yeah. Like, then you own it. It's, it's yours. A, it's, a, it's a commitment. And I'm like, oh, my God. So I can actually do this. I can actually change this and be this. And it's okay. And. So I've never put studs on my, like, my rhinestones like this on my face before. I mean, it's crazy. I'm loving it. And, you know, it's just, um, and if I could live my life like this every day, it'd be great, you know. I mean, ultimately, it's about, for me, it's about spiritual practice and coming back to yourself. And, 
he's helped me come back to my spiritual practice. I've been a Buddhist for like 20 years and I'm meditating again for the first time in a long time, you know? Wow. And it's been, he's really helped me with that. And, uh, interesting. So, yeah. Yeah. So I have a, you know, I have a gift for him and I'm, it's a spiritual gift and I'm hoping I can give it to Monty or somebody like, I don't know if I can give it to him. So. Yeah. Cause we saw, um, Tommy today. We saw Tommy, Monty, everybody came out except Anna. Cause he was busy. Yeah. And we saw Sasha. Sasha. And who was the, um, other guy that was Dr. Terrence Taylor. Oh, okay. We saw everybody just about, except for Brooke. Brooke didn't come out. I, yeah, I see. I don't know who all these people are. Yeah, I mean, it's dancers. Like, yeah. Dancers. So they're all so beautiful. Oh my God. Yeah. Longinue was out today. Well, Longinue's always out. He's always fun yeah. to hang out with. He had more more tattoos than almost any. Okay. So okay, we this we sorry we stopped, we ran out of memory. <laughs> and so oops. Oops. So um you were talking about the fact that you were, you know, you've got a spiritual journey gift to kind of to give. Yeah, I mean, I've been, you know, I'm a tra I've, it's funny because I've done all this work around healing. I've, I'm a transpersonal healer. I have a, a psych degree and all this stuff. And so it's really easy for me to help you heal other people and do all this work. But, you know, when you're depressed, it's hard to heal yourself. And so then I kind of, that depression would kicked in. And it mostly was about your know, loss of faith. And that's the one thing about Adam. He's got so much faith in the universe holding him and carrying him. And it's just, I'm going to cry right now. It's just really profound. Well, it's it's interesting because when you read the book, um, the on the meaning of Adam Lambert, which is that one, which this I one. haven't. Okay, this. Yeah, this book is really amazing. Okay, if you haven't read this book, hold it up so you okay, can. Sorry, you gotta okay, get this book. It's if awesome. you if you haven't seen this book, this book is not an easy read. No. It's not fast. It looks, you know, it's not that many pages, really. Right, you know, right. it's really not that big. Right. But it, you can you can do it in bits and pieces, and sh and you have it takes time to chew up, right, and process, right. And it took me three months, and I finally finished it while I was on vacation in Hawaii. And to me, it was like suddenly it was like everything started clicking. It was like going, okay, got it. Right. And uh, Zena well, came out for me, and me. It was it's different because I read it and I just start crying, and or I just because it's my experience. I mean, yeah, that's the beauty about this book. It's like it's so many of our experiences. You know? Yes, it's like these women that I mean, I'm actually not straight. I'm bisexual, but a lot of people are straight. You know, I'm not. I'm bi. So I have a little bit of different experience of orientation, but. Um, but yeah, it's just been this experience of awakening. Here's this gay man that we're falling in love with and having this amazing experience of transformation and awakening. And, and so many women have an awakening on their sexuality. It's a big deal. And they talk about this a lot in the book about yeah. the sexual awakening. And it's controversial. You know, it's well, very controversial because a gay man is waking up, awakening our sexuality up. How does that happen? You know? Well, it's, and it's also too, it's like, when you supposedly reach a certain age or right you're not supposed to, to have, have that, that. and i'm sorry that. that that's just like so that's wrong wrong like you're you know well it's shifting now you know it's it, things are getting better you know women are you know transforming that and i think that this this is a part of this experience with adam is part of all that you know? yeah and adam holds it so well because a lot of artists you know don't they don't like the fact they have older fans they don't want that they want no. the younger 20 year olds you know and they kind of push off the older fans but then this yeah adam, except the older fans are actually more committed they're more committed they embrace things more and they spend more money on they it spend more money and adam loves that he loves the fact that we're there for him and supportive and he doesn't I mean, care about the age like you know i mean if i had you you know that's the that's like his wonderful yeah. song you know no matter your age race your color your skin your sexuality your orientation you know whoever you are gay straight by we can all we are all the same we can all party together we can all connect it's about love and that's yeah. what it's all about and um that message is really important and it, it seemed you know it's essential, especially in today's world where there's so much suffering and so much hate and divisiveness in the world. His exactly. It's really, really important. Really? So, I mean, I, yeah. And you so. know, he's not political, but he is political. He's, he's he, political in a very subtle... In a very subtle, under, you know, kind of like slow... Under, you know, yeah. It's under, under, cut, underground, you know? Underground, you it's low-key. It's low-key. Uh, almost invisible, yes. and it just becomes part of the message that he's giving. Yeah. And if, if it's not a message about being gay, it's about a message about being the entire possibility, allowing yourself to to visualize, to be the best you can be, the entire person you want to be. Yeah, it's really great. Don't give up on your dreams. Yeah, and we're all we're all similar, and we're all the same, and we all can be together, and it's just been and connect and love. Yeah. So we're about to go in to... Yes, um, we're going to go see... We're going to go see... Yeah. Well, actually, we've got Orianthi to go see, and yes. then, because um, we're a little late, which is okay, um, God knows the parking. What can I say? But we had an interesting time today. So people, you'll see this on the blog. Um, we'd like to th thank this lovely lady here for sharing her thoughts. And uh, 
She actually articulated a lot of things that a lot of people have said to me about Adam, so this is perfect. So thank you guys, it was fun. Okay, people, this is Stevie for the LA Story Sing Season. Thanks for joining Stevie Wilson on LA Story. Feel free to check out other podcasts and videos. Bookmark it now. www.la-story.com.